Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another collab video. I am super excited to take part in this collab. I think this idea is phenomenal. So thank you so much to Miranda who invited me to take part in this collab. You are going to see an entire day of recipes, an entire day of meals. So we're going to do this progressive dinner style. So you're going to see a breakfast, a lunch, a dinner, a dessert, and a snack. So there are a total of five people participating in this collab. When you finish watching all five videos, you will have an entire day's worth of meals. How awesome is that? Make sure that you take a moment down in the description box and check out everyone else that's participating in the Progressive Dinner Collab. If you go over and visit their channel, make sure you let them know that I sent you. And if you're coming over from their channel, welcome. Make sure that you subscribe hit the notification bell, and of course, down in my comment section, let me know who sent you over so I can send them a huge thank you. So if you wanna see five complete meals, progressive dinner style, then all you have to do is keep watching. So for my breakfast recipe for our progressive dinner collab, I am going to make a breakfast potato casserole. This is literally a 10 minute put together casserole. It can be from these ingredients to your table in about 30 minutes. So it's great for a busy weekday morning or even if you wanna hurry up and throw some breakfast on the table to get on with your weekend. So let me show you what is in our recipe. So first you're going to need some milk or milk substitute. I'm gonna go ahead and use this Milkadamia Unsweetened Vanilla Macadamia Milk. This is delicious, I actually purchased this off of nettrition.com if you're interested in picking up some of this milk. It is really good, but it is a little bit on the pricey side. I'm going to be adding some minced red onion. I found these Lighthouse red onions at Costco. Love them. And of course, for seasoning, we need some salt and we need some pepper. You're going to need eight eggs. I decided to go with mild Italian chicken sausage versus mild Italian turkey because honestly, you guys, this is less points and it tastes just as good. You're also going to need some diced hash brown potatoes and either some light or fat-free cheese. I'm gonna go ahead and do some fat-free cheddar cheese. So let's get started on our casserole. So we are ready to put together our breakfast casserole. The first thing I did is took one cup of the fat-free cheese and set it aside because it is going to go on top of our casserole. The rest of our ingredients goes into one bowl, easy peasy. So here is the one pound of the chicken sausage. I did go ahead and weigh out 20 ounces of the frozen hash browns. Make sure that you weigh these. You definitely get a more accurate reading than going by cups when it comes to hash browns. And I do weigh my hash browns frozen. That's a question that I get a lot. We are also going to be adding in the rest of our fat-free cheese. The recipe calls for seven ounces, which is exactly what this bag of cheese is. So we're gonna add in the rest. I did go ahead and break eight eggs into a bowl to avoid the shell. If you're new to my channel, I'm constantly getting shells when I think I'm good enough to just crack it directly into my dish. So I have learned my lesson and now I do it directly into another bowl. So I am going to also be adding some of these Lighthouse Red Onions. This is an addition to the recipe that I decided to add just to give it a little bit of extra flavor. I'm also going to be adding one half of a cup of my milkadamia, my macadamia nut milk. And then lastly, we are going to add in our salt and our pepper. So first is our pink Himalayan sea salt. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add this into taste. I typically do not measure my spices. I just kind of do it to what I think is the right amount for the recipe. So there is my salt. And then lastly, we're gonna go ahead and add in some ground black pepper. Give this a big stir, and then it is going to go into our greased nine by 13 pan. Go ahead and give your casserole a nice stir. We wanna make sure everything is nice and incorporated. You do have to put a little bit of muscle into it because of the frozen hash browns, but make sure that you get the egg especially mixed throughout. 
as well as your sausage because that's what's going to give it that structure when it's in the casserole dish. So get everything nice and mixed together. Grab your 9x13 greased pan. Turn your oven on to 350. Once we get this all mixed together, we'll pop it into our pan and we'll get this into the oven. Once you have your casserole nice and mixed together, look at how yummy that looks. You are literally just going to pour it in to your baking dish and then you want to make sure that you spread it nice and even along the bottom. I did go ahead and spray this with some nonstick cooking spray. And then we are going to pop this into the oven for about 30 to 35 minutes. We're going to pull it out sprinkle that little bit of cheese that one cup that we reserved over the top and then we'll pop it back into the oven until the cheese is melted and it's finished cooking through but this looks so good and you guys that was the quickest casserole recipe pretty much ever i just pulled the breakfast casserole out of the oven this is looking phenomenal look at that yum so now all we have to do is we're going to go ahead and top it with that extra one cup of fat-free shredded cheese and you just want to be kind of evenly dispersing your cheese on top and then we are just going to pop it back into the oven until our cheese is melted and we want to also make sure that our casserole is cooked completely through but this is looking so good wait until you guys see the finished product and i tell you the smart points it is a huge serving for super low points I just pulled our casserole out of the oven. Look at how delicious this looks. All of that cheese, egg, sausage, yum. I'm gonna let this rest for just a few minutes. I'm gonna cut it into the serving size, plate it up, and I will give you the smart points. So we went ahead and cut our casserole into six servings, nice big servings of the casserole. And here is one completed serving. This is a small salad plate, so there's in comparison to my hand, but it fills that entire salad plate. Look at that cheesy, sausagey. Look at all that delicious egg that's in there. Yum. And this entire portion of our breakfast casserole is only four smart points. That's a lot of food for four smart points. You could pair this with some fruit, some yogurt and it makes a perfect breakfast. So that, my friends, is your progressive dinner breakfast item. Thank you so much for joining me on my breakfast recipe as part of Miranda's progressive dinner collab. I hope that you enjoyed seeing my recipe. It is so good. I'm gonna go ahead and link it down in the description box below for you. Also, all of the other channels, including Miranda. Thank you again, Miranda are down in the description box below. So make sure that you not only check out my recipe, but check out everyone else who participated in this collab. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you're new from another channel, let me know who sent you. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're notified each and every time I upload a new video. I'd love it if you'd give this one a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know, are you going to try out this breakfast recipe? I promise. You won't be sorry. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.